Good afternoon and welcome to another questionable review. Okay, it's gonna be a short one today because I enjoyed this book and obviously you know that I have a really hard time articulating why I like stuff as opposed to me not liking stuff. I could tell you about the stuff I don't like for days. So today we are gonna be talking about The Anatomy of Dreams by Chloe Benjamin. Uh, basically, it's a really good book. It's not the kind of book that I would kind of normally read, but like, I feel like I really enjoyed it. And I feel like if it is your kind of thing, then you're probably gonna enjoy it a lot more than I did. So that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, I've only really got a couple of things to say about this book and I'm gonna try and keep it as spoiler free as possible because it did only come out last year. So bear with me on this. I am not very good at keeping my mouth shut. <clears throat> so The Anatomy of Dreams focuses on a girl named Sylvie and kind of her life from like high school to like 30 years old, maybe a bit older. Um, and it chronicles her romance with a boy named Gabe and um, also her research in a college, uh, researching dreams, uh, specifically, uh, well, I'm not gonna tell you that actually, because at the beginning of the book, uh, we find out a lot about um, her and Gabe, the boy, and how they met in high school and things like that. And the research facility is only kind of hinted at and everything's kind of kept hush hush, like they must be doing some kind of really secret, really like important research. And like, I think that was great because uh, even though the intrigue was obviously being created by the hints towards this other thing, the romance itself was actually really, really compelling. Like, Gabe was mysterious and the circumstances surrounding their relationship were mysterious. And I think that that's a sign of a good writer, really. If you can have, obviously, you're creating intrigue for later and you're making the reader ask questions so that they turn the page. But also, like, the thing, the plot that you were focusing on, you know, around that that is compelling as well. That's really, really good. It shows um, good writing skill. Well done you, Chloe Benjamin, I guess. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I might go on about this for a little while, because I tend to when I really like something, is the prose. Now, um, when you're writing a book, you want the tone of the prose to match the tone of the story. So for example, um, if you're writing an action story, you'd kind of want your prose to be fast-paced and not really finicky on details and things like that. Obviously there are scenes where this will be more appropriate, but in general, you would like it to be fast-paced because action is fast-paced. Whereas if you're writing a love story, that might be a little slower, that'd be a lot more uh, similes, metaphors, you know, all the romantic kind of writing elements that we have. In this case, obviously, The Anatomy of Dreams is about dreams. And somehow, Chloe Benjamin manages to emulate a dream with her writing. Let me explain. I don't know whether you've ever seen uh, that 2015 film, It Follows, about the sexually transmitted demon. But basically, that film was based on a dream that the director had. And in order to make the film feel like a dream, uh, the director would use like muted colours and um, her like old clunky phones next to like smartphones and old cars next to new cars. Um, like uh, the sound was muted, there was a lot of water imagery. And this is basically the literary equivalent of that. Somehow, when you are reading this, you feel like you're dreaming. There's this mysterious, vague, kind of wishy-washy kind of fucking feeling like I can't describe it you'll have to read it for yourself but trust me like whenever I got into this it had that kind of it had a very dreamlike trance like quality to it that I cannot describe and I think that that was really really good like how can you fault that how can you fault a book about dreams making you feel like you're dreaming you can't all right and it's so like Obviously I said you're supposed to fit the tone of the writing with the tone of the book, but how can you possibly think, okay, I'm gonna sit here and write like it's a dream? How do you do that? Like, I don't know how to do that, but Chloe Benjamin does, all right? <laughs> 
yeah, it's really good. And she has got another book that I haven't read. And I don't know whether that might just be her writing style. She might just have a big wishy-washy dreamlike writing style. But either way, it still works. It works for this book. Whether it was intentional or not, it still works. So props for that. She can have points for that. I'll read the other book and see what the sitch is, I guess. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm really shit at telling you about books that I like. Uh, I need to start getting on that a bit more. <sighs> or maybe I'll just listen to the third of Onision's audiobooks and uh, we can talk about that. Sound good? Alright. This has been a very short, very, very questionable review. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.